you see anything change within them that kind of allowed them to do that? Or? Yeah, I mean, they amped up their defensive pressure, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they really were forcing us into – you know, some tough decisions, and we didn't handle that stretch very well. We've got to handle the basketball better than that, and we've got to play more poise than that. But I give them credit. They they're, they're, they they can turn it up. You saw that last night versus Vermont. You saw that the last five minutes of the game. It got real chaotic, and uh, they've got good uh, players that can do that. Jeff, it seems like you guys didn't lose any sort of poise, any sort of composure. Where does that sort of come from, and how good a sign is that? Well, I think it's a good sign. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it was as good as, as that. I would say that we were a little bit flustered, but I do think we hit the correct button pretty quick. And I was really proud of uh, Serena, uh, really proud of Gisela to step back in after she'd missed two free throws earlier to knock two down in a critical point. So I do think we showed more poise through each kind of challenge. You know, early, not so much, a little more as the game went on a little better as the game went on and um, uh, I, I think um, you play in these tournaments to, to put your team through those and you want to learn about your team and um, you know we're learning about each other better as we go and you play a quality opponent like North Carolina they're going to expose some things that you're not ready for and um, we've got to get better at that but um, I'm pleased with the uh, that we came through it and, and uh, showed some points. What did you try to do defensively against Carolina in this game? And uh, Yeah, I, ironically, uh, well, we wanted to get in the gaps better to show more help early because we knew how well they drove the ball. And their guards are so physical that if they get you inside 10, they can really punish you. Now, what we wanted to do, we knew they had good mid-range shooters, but we've also got some length to us. And if we can keep people in front, and get in that shot line. That's a shot that 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 we're um, we're okay with 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 you know we're okay if if we're, if we're keeping them in front. We feel like we're in good rebounding position. We feel like we're in, in a good spot. Um, where they had success, they got us deeper than that. Where we had success, we forced them to take guarded shots, and um, that's what we were trying to do. Now, Alyssa, us be four points. She, that's a few she's had since the 2022 NCAA tournament. What'd you do against her? You know, I, she's a great player. She's a great player. We, 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 um, what we tried to do was not give her the fake handoff stuff that she's so crafty with. We tried not to give her the sweeps where she gets you at about 12 feet and opens up and attacks you. Um, we just tried not to give her those plays. Keep her off the offensive glass because she gets a lot of energy from those plays. Um, and that's as good as I've seen us rebound the basketball in a long time. Serena, part of the fun of these tournaments is that you usually get to see a bunch of teams that you wouldn't ordinarily play. You guys may play some of tomorrow, but you saw a week and a half ago. What, what will that be like if it is another game for them? Yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. Um, to say the least, I was a good team, and we had to fight every possession at their place to get that win. So I'm just excited to prepare tonight and see what coach has for us, um, to come at them and give them a look. Um, yeah, and see what they have for us. But I'm excited. Serena, I'm sure with uh, Lexi Denarski being from the Big 12 in Iowa State, you're probably pretty familiar with her style and how she defends. Um, she was on you a lot, especially down the stretch. What did you kind of do to sort of find a way around her? Yeah, um, she's a good player. She And that team, I think, all the way around guard-wise is as physical and athletic as we've seen so far this year. So um, she's always a good matchup for me. But um, I don't know, yeah, just trusting your preparation and playing with your teammates, cutting, moving the ball together is just how we're going to beat anyone, including her. Okay, you, you guys killed them on the glass, it was almost two to one. How much pride do you take in that? Yeah, a lot. I mean, on our, like we knew that they were good offensive rebounders. So we knew we'd have to get on the glass and Gabby just did her assignment really well. She boxed out Utsby um, and just like being in the right position um, and just going to the glass and setting that tone early was what was important. And I think we executed, yeah, really well. Hey, okay, I feel like at times they were sort of trying to turn you into a facilitator. Mm -hmm. um, is that, I guess, how um, 
used to, you are sort of adapting to yeah. the different ways teams defend you at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely, yeah, that was an adjustment we had to make. Um, yeah, I try to just kind of go with the flow in the kind of way, you know, just be smart, not get frustrated because it's a long 40 minutes. Um, and like defenses break down, so just being ready for like whatever they throw at me. So, yeah. Jeff, either way, you're going to play a good team tomorrow yeah. night. But if it is Iowa again, what is the challenge of seeing a non conference team twice in 10 days? Well, I think it's no different than. Uh, you know, we've seen conference teams in 10 days because of the way conferences are built now, you know, so it's not a, a balanced schedule always. But uh, this will be unique because you don't face a non-conference team very often. But I will say this, yeah, Iowa and Florida Gulf Coast will have a heck of a game here. We know how good Florida Gulf Coast is. I'm sure Iowa knows how good they are. So we'll sit here and see. If it ends up being Iowa, then um, we know that uh, Caitlin Clark is uh, – and it's not just Kaitlyn Clark, guys. That that is a good team, up and down that roster, um, and um, very talented. Uh, I'm anxious to watch the game. I haven't seen Florida Gulf Coast. We played them in Mexico about five or six years ago, and they were fantastic, hard to guard. They do such a great job. So you know, it'll it'll be unique. We came here to get to the championship game. That's all we control. <laughs> <laughs> and now we'll sit here and and, uh, and and wait to see who we play. I know, I know you're not, obviously not your role to talk about Iowa. I get that and I respect that. But you said something that sort of triggered something in my head. It is not just Caitlin. There are a bunch of good players in that team. Do you think that gets overlooked when people talk about Iowa? Well, I think that um, I think it does just because the nature of what we need in our game is we need stars like that to grow the attention. And it's been fun. I mean, we played in front of 14,998 up at Iowa City, you know, when Lee broke the record for points, that drew a lot of attention. It also, you know, but that didn't take away from Serena being a really good player. That didn't take away from Jalen Glenn. And I don't think it takes away at all from Stolke's a heck of a player, Gabby Marshall's a heck of a player. I can go down the list of their roster. So, no, I think all those things are good for our game. Um, those are really good players. And, um, and we need stars in our game, just like I, I think every sport needs them. I'm sorry, but I have one kind of curveball for you. Okay. Uh, next week, I think, is your 1,000th game in your career. Have really? you thought about milestones at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. And, and, you know, I've been lying about my age, so you're, you're just killing me with it. <laughs> yeah, we used to play 50 games a year way right back when. It was much, yeah. much, much, much easier to 100 games a year the was, was in the 80s. I always told you it was tougher back then. Um, <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, when you talk about big round numbers, what does that mean? Wow. Um, I, you know, I don't – well, I don't know um, – I had never thought of that milestone. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, honestly, it, I'm not one of those, I, I don't spend a lot of time looking at those things. I don't. Um, I think that um, you did, that is a curveball question because that one was not, um, anything was on my radar. Um, I think this. Um, I'm one that really enjoys coaching. I'm not one that sits here and says, ah, oh, the game's changed, NIL's changed, transfer portal's bad. I think things have changed every year I've been in it. And we've survived it and we figured it out. And at the end of the day, for me, I enjoy the time with these guys and I enjoy getting better. And even when I haven't enjoyed teams as much, I think that's when players sometimes need coaches so I guess for it to be a thousand boy um don't tell Shanna that I'll text really, you. yeah yeah thanks I appreciate that but I think this um I've been doing it uh, I've been doing it a while and um uh, I'm enjoying this year as much as I did first season that's probably the best I can say is I'm enjoying it as much as I did when I coached the first time and and that's a credit to, to these guys Missouri
Ooh, wow, that's Joe. interesting. That's kind of cool. You know, and that's where I went to school, and yeah, so I don't cool. know how we set that up. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, sure, thanks for, yeah, that's interesting. Um, I had no idea, and, and we're going to be about 20 minutes from our, her hometown. Sweet. So, uh, going to have some family there? Yeah, I'll tell them to bring up the houses. <laughs> All right, I like that. All right, guys, thank you. <laughs>